the lady from Ankara. International Affair. The lady from Ankara. The lady. Today I'm going to take a look at creating a Google account with a Gmail address. For that I'm at a Google product, in this case YouTube, and I'm going to click on sign in at the top right hand side. And instead of entering the email address or phone number of the Google account I want to sign in, I'm going to click down on this link here, create account. And I'm then asked whether I want to create it for myself or for my child or to manage my business. I'm going to go for this one um, because it is the most generic one. And I'm being asked to enter my first and last name and my email address in the case that this is actually a third party email address, something like Hotmail or Yahoo, or I can proceed with creating a new Gmail address. So let's enter my first and last name and click on create a Gmail address instead testing this again and again at gmail.com and I'm going to have to generate a password for myself and click on next and on this page I'm being offered the opportunity to enter a phone number and a recovery email address both of which are optional but I'm also being asked to enter my birth date my gender. I have the option to have a look at this particular link to see um, why I'm being asked for this particular inf information. Let's do that. So this particular information explains exactly why all of the information is being asked for, your name, first and last name, and then the username, which would be the, the prefix to your Gmail your password, your date of birth and your gender and your phone number and current email address. Now, the, the date of birth is important because Google accounts are have age requirements. So you have to be of, a, of age to basically have a Google account. And in some cases you have to be, in some countries you have to be older than in other countries. And the same applies to public facing Google services such as YouTube. So do read this information. It, it does encourage you to enter a, rec uh, a phone number and a recovery email address so that you do have recovery options for yourself. I'm going to proceed without this though and because it is optional and not required. Now I'm being asked to choose personalization for settings. I'm going to select express personalization and I'm going to read through this information. I'm speed reading because I've read it before. Um, I have quite a few Google accounts, so I'm going to proceed with that. I then have to agree to the privacy terms and services, basically the terms of services, and note that this says I agree. Now, this is really important, and I cannot stress this enough. When you create a Google account, you're entering your first and last name, you're entering your date of birth, and you're clicking on I agree. So in other words, the Google account that you're creating is for you personally, which is why it's really important never ever to share your Google account access with another party. So this is how to create a Google account in 2022 as you'll have noted, there is no requirement to set yourself recovery options, but I cannot stress enough how important it is that you do. And it's not so that you, um, you know, you can safely go ahead and, and forget your password. No, this is about things that you cannot possibly predict. There are data breaches, there are hackers, there is malware. There is any number of reasons why Google will, in time or when it's relevant, clamp down on security and possibly lock you out even if you do remember your password. So yes, set yourself up recovery options, go into your Google account security and set up two-step verification as well. Make sure that you generate, download and print off the eight-digit backup codes. 
they are your saving grace. Store them away from your device so that you have access to them at any time. Thank you for listening and goodbye.